and today we'll be looking at how to drift in car parking multiplayer. And for those of you who watch most of my videos, you'll realize off the bat this is very different because I finally don't have to read subtitles anymore because I'm now using my voice and I will try to in most of my videos. Now let's get to the video. So first let's start off with the gearbox. For the final I have 6.0 and for the first gear I have it 1.19, second gear 0 0.83, third 0 0.64, four 0 0.49, five 0 0.35, six 0 0.15, seven 0 0.08. And for drifting, you'll really only have to worry about, at least for this gear ratio, the first gear. That's all that really matters in this one. You don't move out of second gear in this car for drifting. All right, now for the suspension and center of gravity, don't adjust that. That just really messes with the physics of the game. And that really doesn't work out well. All right, now that you got the setup, you can begin drifting trying to drift at least because if you're watching this video you probably don't know how to at the moment and neither do I anyways you're gonna want to drive to an open area so let's go there all right so once you're in a nice open area I've come to the market the back parking lot you're gonna want to make sure you're gonna go into settings you're gonna go into car settings and you're gonna make sure that you have traction control ESP and stability help all off, but keep ABS on. And you're gonna definitely want to make sure that you have all wheel drive on because that's what allows you to have really nice control of the car while you're drifting. You are also going to want to make sure that you are using the wheel and not arrows or tilts because with the wheel, you have like much more control than you would with any of the other settings because you can make those minuscule adjustments. All right, so to start out, you're just gonna wanna punch the throttle and turn the steering wheel to get your car to lose grip and start to slide. And just kind of practice starting that and starting it out nice and smoothly. Don't start out and spin like this because then you're not gonna have any control of the car and you're just gonna do something like that and damage your engine. So after repairing your engine and practicing just starting the car out in a slide for a little while, you're going to want to practice controlling that slide and keeping it going to make a circular type pattern. It doesn't have to be perfect, you can just start out going like this. And then you can start trying to counteract it just a little bit. You don't want to make too much movement or else it'll just whip the car the other way. Just small adjustments and that's why you use the wheel small adjustments and you're just going to want to keep practicing that until you can get like a kind of circular motion like this and just keep it like that good practice is to try and drift and keep your tire marks in your previous circle that's really good practice for this once you get that down you can start doing a bunch of tricks and stuff like you can go bowling. Okay, so that's obviously not what you want to do, but you can start practicing going around things and going close to things. And eventually you'll just get the feel for it and it'll start to become natural once the car goes on a slide that you'll be able to control it. All right, so now we're gonna talk about throttle control. So, while you've been practicing, you've probably just been holding the throttle down all the way and just spinning the car. Now we're going to talk about more control of the car. So to start out the drift, you're going to want to punch the throttle to get your car loose from the ground. And then when you want to start going slower, you're obviously going to take your hand off the God damn this fucking car. So once you got the car in a spin, you're going to want to slowly lower the throttle, but also increase the angle of attack, which is how much your car is drifting compared to how much it's going forward. So a low angle of attack is obviously going to be a 
something like this when the car is not not quite going sideways a lot. This would be an example of a high angle attack. Is when the car is going almost perfectly sideways, but so going forward. So once you get that down and can start lowering your throttle, I wouldn't recommend going anywhere below 50% throttle, just because your car just starts to stop sliding at that point. Like mine's just barely sliding right now. If I take it lower, it just stops. You fucking kidding me? Fucking hell, it's like the fifth time I've done this. So like I was saying, don't go below 50% throttle. Unless you're already traveling at a high speed, then you can take your throttle down quite a bit. But when you get to the lower speeds, don't go below 50. So after you've had a bit of practice with that, you're gonna wanna start trying to drift around, say, these light bulbs or do figure eights. And for figure eights, I'd recommend using the handbrake every once in a while. Once you're transitioning from one angle to the next. Eventually, once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to do figure eights like it's nothing. Unlike what I'm doing right now. Once you get the hang of throttle control, you'll be able to have much more control over your car when it's in a spin. Alright, so that's going to be the end of this tutorial. If you'd like me to do tutorials on anything else, just comment them down below and I'll see what I can do about that. Thank you for watching and have a good day.